What up techies? Astronomers using the Hubble Space Telescope have discovered a galaxy that could break physics as we know it. The Dragonfly 44 galaxy is made up of 99.99% dark matter and scientists are baffled by how it formed. This strange galaxy could provide new insight into the nature of dark matter and the universe. As far as we know, no other period in the universe's history has yet to be investigated than the initial few hundred million years following the Big Bang. The James Webb Space Telescope is ideal for this study with its sensitive infrared equipment. Dozens more galaxy candidates from that era have been detected in just the first few weeks of its early data release. However, the most intriguing of all is the recently discovered Schrodinger's galaxy, which appears to be in two locations at once. So, what makes this faraway galaxy so unique? This galaxy is the most enigmatic one discovered in Webb's data, but why is that? Most importantly, how does it threaten our current cosmological models? Because the speed of light is limited, everything we perceive in the cosmos is how it looked in the past. As a result, if a distant galaxy is 12 billion light years away, we are witnessing its light as it was 12 billion years ago. However, by the time that light reaches us, its wavelength will have increased due to the universe's expansion. Redshift is expressed by the dimensionless quantity z in astronomy, with z equals zero denoting the present. The greater the value, the further away the heavenly body is. Analysis of a galaxy's light with regular colored filters enables one to determine the galaxy's redshift. This gives us the photometric redshift of the galaxy, which is an estimate since it is not very solid. Only by carefully examining the spectral lines of a galaxy is it possible to determine with accuracy its redshift. Therefore, the spectroscopic redshift is the method that provides the most accurate measurements of the size of the universe as a whole. Only one galaxy has been identified as existing in the epoch of the universe known as Z greater than 10, in accordance with the most recent findings of astronomical research. In 2015, the Hubble Space Telescope made the discovery of a galaxy that was later given the designation GNZ11. The Hubble Space Telescope, on the other hand, is unable to observe galaxies with redshifts greater than 12. Our sensor has a maximum detectable wavelength, which explains why this is the case. In addition, Hubble's view is restricted to the period of time beginning 500 million years after the Big Bang. On the other hand, Webb can look even further back in time, up to about 200 million years after the Big Bang. As a result, Webb has allowed us to gain insight into previously inaccessible, finding galaxies between redshifts 13 and 14 is quite interesting for astronomers. A few weeks in, astronomers reported multiple candidates in that range. Nonetheless, a group of scientists up the ante by reporting a galaxy with a record redshift of 17. CERS 1749 is the galaxy's official designation. In the beginning, the stellar mass of this galaxy was the biggest mystery. At 5 billion suns, the mass of CERS 1749 is enormous. The length of time our galaxy has existed is extremely large, compared to GLZ-13, another galaxy candidate identified by the James Webb Space Telescope at a redshift of 13.1. This one is five times more massive in terms of its stellar mass, the fundamental adjustment of early galaxy evolution theories, and perhaps even our underlying cosmic framework, would be required if CERS 1749 were verified to lie at Z equals 17, the researchers wrote in their report. Standard assumptions within the framework of Lambda CDM cosmology make it extremely difficult to generate such extraordinarily brilliant and massive galaxies only approximately 200 million years after the Big Bang. The redshift in star mass cutoff for four distant galaxies is plotted on this graph from the team's research article. Hubble found GNZ11, whereas GLZ11 and GLZ13 are potential targets for Webb. CERS 1749 is located in the region of the figure where it is at odds with the Lambda CDM model of the universe. The discovery of this galaxy and others in the stress region via spectroscopy may place a convincing constraint on cosmology. The team also calculated this candidate's star formation rate, and it came out to be 34 solar masses per year. That's around 100 times more than in the Milky Way, so star formation in this galaxy must have been extremely active. CERS 1749's ultraviolet brightness, or absolute ultraviolet magnitude, is represented by the symbol MUV. The lower the absolute magnitude of a celestial object, the brighter and more brilliant it is, as measured from Earth by observing it from a distance of 10 parsecs. The MUV for CERS 1749 is minus 22. The galaxy is brighter than average. For a system only 220 million years removed from the Big Bang, such a high UV luminosity is shocking. A significant value for this parameter would suggest that current cosmological models are flawed. This is because CERS 1749 is not alone in having such a high brightness at the Z greater than 10 epoch. 
ground-based telescope's most distant candidate galaxy, HD1, has a MUV of 10, second only to HD1 and comparable to the spectroscopically verified GNZ11. The next portion is where things get complicated, explaining why CERS 1749 is also known as Schrodinger's galaxy. Despite the fact that a redshift of roughly 17 is where the galaxy is most likely located, a Z equals 5 solution still has a non-zero probability of being correct. Even though the Z equals 17 options fare better in this galaxy's examination, the researchers choose not to discount the other possibilities completely, and that's why they call this potential winner Schrodinger's galaxy since it appears in two locations simultaneously. It's like Schrodinger's cat, which appears to be both dead and alive until it's observed. The candidate's immediate surroundings provide the first indication that it is located at C equals 5. All three of our galaxy's nearest companions are located at redshifts very close to 5. The stellar mass of one of the neighbors was then calculated, and it came out to be around 100 billion suns. If CERS 1749 has the same redshift as its huge neighbor, it may be an associated satellite galaxy if the two are fewer than 15 kiloparsecs apart. That's very close to the similarities between the Magellanic Clouds and our current Milky Way. The Milky Way is roughly 100 billion solar masses in size, while the Magellanic Clouds are on the order of a billion solar masses. As for the galaxy's morphology, it provided the second piece of evidence in favor of the Z equals 5 solution. The findings again suggest that the galaxy could be a merging pair or a clumpy disk. Its proximity to other protoclusters suggests that mergers are likely to occur in this region. CERS 1749's huge neighbors, if they lie at the same redshift, could be causing tidal disruption. The redshift of 5 for this galaxy is highly improbable, but even if it is true, it still poses a problem for our current understanding of the universe, because its star production rate is severely constrained by a Z equals 5 solution. That's equivalent to only approximately 3% of the Milky Way's total mass. If this is the case, it would be the furthest, most eerily quiet galaxy ever discovered. Large masses and sizes, stellar populations that are several billion years old, red colors, negligible to no active star formation, and very limited amounts of cold gas and dust are all characteristics of quiescent galaxies. Our present understanding of galaxy evolution and the physics of feedback is thus challenged by the discovery of such quiet galaxies at high redshifts of roughly 5, with a probability of greater than 90%. The location of this galaxy that has a redshift of approximately 17 seems to be the most likely candidate. What we are witnessing right now is the beginning of all time. The continuation of spectroscopic observations of this magnificent galaxy is absolutely necessary in order for Webb to achieve his goal of exploring new parts of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope has provided us with a glimpse into the ultimate void that exists in our knowledge of the history of the cosmos. What lies within is something that has piqued our interest greatly. Even though it has only been in operation for a short time, the James Webb Space Telescope has already begun uncovering some incredible mysteries about our cosmos. We have discussed the recently found Schrodinger's galaxy, and its one-of-a-kind characteristics in this video. This extremely distant galaxy has astronomers scratching their heads because it seems to be in two places simultaneously. What implication could this possibly have for our existing knowledge of the universe? As Webb continues its investigation into the early universe, we cannot wait to see what new information it uncovers. Thanks for joining us and please make it a habit to check back here frequently for updates.